Mr. Guidry? Here. Mr. Gordon? Mr. Snyder? Here. Mr. Fandel? Here. Mr. Brookter? Here. Mr. Ballantyne? Here. Mr. Chairman, we have a quorum. Thank you. Did everyone get a copy of the minutes from the March 6th meeting? Uh, yes, sir. I was not going to elaborate too much more in that regards, considering that it was more of a question answer between the board members and uh, Mrs. Riles. Um, We have a motion to approve all in favor. Vote with your lights. And motion passes. Okay. Our first case is BOA case number 2018-1339 BOA. This was postponed from March 6th, uh, 2019 uh, meeting. Request by applicant in an A2 suburban zoning district for a variance to reduce the required front yard setback from 50 feet to 25 feet to allow for the construction of an attached garage to an existing family residence. The property is located at 123 North Dogwood Drive, Covington, Louisiana. The applicant and representative is JSB Dogwood LLC, John Bowers. Uh, the applicant has also requested to postpone this again I know we do have some uh, people in the audience that would like to speak either for or against uh, this postponement. So, uh, so we can we can entertain a motion, either approving the postponement, give people a chances to talk, either way, and then we can vote on the uh, postponement, or we can just open the floor up. I mean we. I, Mr. Chairman, I'd like to hear from um, the Homeowners Association if that's who this is. I, I think so. Uh, would you please come forward and state your name and address for the records, please? My name is Nancy Wagner. My address is 33 Hyacinth Drive, Covington. And I'm the current president of the Flower State Civic Association. We also have with us another member of the board of the Civic Association, if you'd also like to speak to her. Okay. Deborah Abear. Well, if Miss Abear comes in, and she'll give us a name and, and okay. address okay. the records. Uh, I just wanted to let you know who the people in okay. the audience okay. were. So uh, I would like to uh, point out that in this month's meeting packet, there is a copy of the letter I wrote um, representing, and everyone has that copy. So the highlights of that are uh, we were, Ms. Aber and I were asked to go to 123 North Dogwood to look at the site to get a sense of what they were asking. So we agreed to go to the site. The day I went, to, I took a copy of the Flower Estates uh, Subdivision Restrictive Covenants, which require the setback from the front to be 50, not 25 feet, as they're requesting from the parish, the variance from 50 to 25. And I asked them, uh, uh, Ms. Everett, Kimberly Everett, Everett what, um, if she was aware that we had the restrictive covenants as well as the parish uh, ordinance, and she said she'd never seen them. Um, explains in the letter where they are available to look at. Mm -hmm. So um, we walked around the site. We saw what she wanted to, to accomplish, um, which was making a grand entrance hall to connect a very large part of the residence with uh, the garage. And we told her that we would take the request to our board meeting and ask them what um, our decision would be. And the board said there was no way we would support that request. And then when I spoke the next day and called Kimberly Everett, she told me that um, she would have her people start reworking the plans so they wouldn't need to have the, the requested setback. So hearing it, back on the agenda and postponed again. I'm not really sure why it keeps coming up since they've been told that um, 
that's really not a workable idea. And she also mentioned at the time that she could look at plans and have her people draw up plans to have the entrance to the drive off the side street that also is, a, is next to their property. When I answer your question by why it came back up, every month if we postpone a, a case, we have to hear it the following month, either postpone it or hear it. So that's why it did come oh. back up. But on the this. party can also withdraw it, is that correct? I'm sorry. Can, can the applicant also withdraw the request? That is correct. That is okay. correct. They, they can withdraw the request if they like. Uh, as far as I understand, I think the applicant still wanted to postpone for another meeting. That doesn't mean he'll get a postponed. It's up to the board if they'll get a postponement. Right. Uh, but we just wanted to give you the opportunity to speak. I don't know if anyone else wants to speak concerning this. I don't know if we have any questions from anyone on the board. Mr. Brooklyn. <laughs> We got a motion. Uh, now, this is to deny the request or to or for the postponement. I just want to make sure we of, deny the postponement. Deny the postponement. Right. Okay. So we have a, a motion to deny the postponement. And we have a second. Do we have any discussion? Mr. Ballantyne, I see you had your light on. Also, I don't know if you had anything to say. No. Okay. We have a. Would everyone please vote? with the lights on. This is to deny the postponement. Motion passes. That means uh, the, the motion uh, to postpone has, it was approved. So now we've discussed any discussion concerning this particular case. Uh, let me, if we're going to talk about the case, let me read the overview and the staff comments again, just so we have this part of the records. The applicant is requesting a variance to reduce the required yard setback from 50 feet to 25 feet to allow for the addition to an existing garage. Staff comments, please. As shown on the attached drawing, there's an existing garage on a site which is proposed to be connected to the existing residence with an addition. The request is to allow for an addition to the existing garage within a front yard setback. Although the topography of the parcel creates a hardship in regards to any other options to add square footage to the existing garage, the applicant's request can const constitute of a pre personal preference. Um, in this, to that effect, staff is not in favor of the requested variance. Is the applicant present? It seems that the applicant is not present with us today. Do we have any discussion? Uh, I see, Tom, uh, you have. No, all, all we did was deny. Postponing. Now we have to discuss and either vote for the case one way. Tom, uh, I want to make a motion. yeah, I have I have you up there now. Okay. Yes. Um, I make a motion to, uh, based on the staff comments, um, that they're not in favor of it. Based on the fact that the um, homeowners association, the board has already voted against it. Uh, based on the fact that the owner is not here. Um, uh, based on the fact that they told uh, members of the board that they were going to review the paint uh, plans, I'd like to make a motion to deny uh, the request for the variance. I second. We have a motion and a second to deny the variance. Do we have any discussion? Mr. Brook, second. Yeah, Mr. Brook, to second. Do we have any discussion? Seeing or hearing none, would everyone please vote with the lights? Motion carries. Motion carries. Our next case is BOA case number 2019-1377 BOA. Request by applicant in an A2 industrial zoning district for a waiver of the required landscaping and eight-foot opaque fence along the sides of the property to allow for the site to be used as an outdoor storage yard for trucks, trailers, and material. The materials look 
excuse me, the property is located on the east side of LA 25 south of River Road and St. Gertrude Heights subdivision, Covington, Louisiana. The applicant and representative is McGee Excavation and Development, LLC, Skip McGee. The applicant is requesting a waiver of the required landscaping and eight foot opaque fence. Staff comments, please. As you can see on the attached drawing, um, the site is proposed to be used as an outdoor storage yard for truck trailers and film material. Uh, there's a request for a waiver of the landscaping and the eight foot opaque fence along the, what it's called here, the general gravel access road. And the reason for that is that this access road, as you can see on the aerial, also gives access to other parcels of land. Staff does not have any objection to that request because we do not want to fence, you know, we wouldn't want to allow a fence, also more landscaping to prevent um, the other property owners to access their property. However, in regards to the area that is used for truck and trailers and the material storage staff is not in favor of uh, approving a variance of the required eight foot opaque fence and the landscaping. Is the applicant present? Will you please come forward, please. Would you please state your name and address for the records, please? Yes, sir. Skip McGee, 21664, Highway 40, Bush, Louisiana, 70431. Mr. McGee, do you have anything further to add? Uh, yes, sir. I would like to add that um, this property is at a private, well, it's used by several people, but uh, all the properties that surround this property are either they're, they're a mixed use of industrial, commercial, and residential. The residential area is, I believe, somewhat landlocked and heavily wooded and low. Uh, the commercial area um, and industrial areas are, are currently not uh, fenced or landscaped. Um, there's plenty of area blocking our property from the view of Highway 25. Uh, there's Clayton Mobile Homes that's probably I'd say six, seven hundred feet of property between us and the highway blocking our property. I, I'm not really, you know, a, against the fencing, OP, OPEC fencing around the property. Um, just like Miss Helen addressed, the staff not being opposed to along the front of it with with landscaping and fencing. I agree, um, but I disagree with. Um, have to, to landscape the property at all. When I purchased the property, it was totally cleared. And as for as long as I have knowledge of this property, years back, it's it's never been had any shrubbery or trees on it. It's just been grass. Um, so I just don't feel that I need to make those improvements to a property that didn't have them prior, doesn't currently have them uh, to them. But as far as the fencing goes around the rest of the perimeter of the property, I want to do that anyway for the protection of what will be stored there. Um, so that's where I'll leave it. Mr. Snyder. Yeah, well, question, I guess, for staff to begin with. Is general gravel access road, public road, maintained by the parish? No, so sir, it's not. I own the roadway all the way to Highway 25. The there's a few of the adjoining properties which I haven't found record of it yet. Um, I've just been told that they have access through it because it is a right of way and it does show on my survey. But it gives me right of way on my property, but I don't know who else it gives right of way to. But you maintain it, correct? Yes, ma'am, I do. Correct. Okay. Thank you. Do you have any other questions from anyone? So, Mr. McGee, you are willing to, you said you want to put up a fence around the property, though, correct? Yes, sir. With, with the exception of the area that Ms. Helen called out, that's, uh, that would be the, the north side of the property, just in case anyone did need to access through my property to access theirs, that there wouldn't be a fence. I, I'd actually probably, to be honest with you, step that fence back into my property some so I could secure everything inside of it. I just didn't want to make all this too detailed and complicated. Um, brother, ask for more and get a little less, you know, so.
The main concern for me was the landscaping. Mr. Snyder? Yes, I just wanted to make a comment. You, uh, you say you don't have a problem with all of the eight-foot opaque fencing, which, it, with the exception of the uh, access road side to the north of, of the truck and trailer parking area. Is that correct? Yes, sir, that is correct. Okay. In that case, uh, in viewing where you are in that area, it just seems to me also that landscaping is uh, ridiculous. So if I were to make a motion to approve, it would be to, with the fencing and without the landscaping, but uh, there can be further discussion. Uh, are you making a motion, Mr. No, I, I'm letting anybody else speak okay. to my comment. If there is, and I, I will make a motion, if there's no uh, comment. Well, I have no one else requesting to okay. speak. Okay. okay, I guess that's, there we go. In that case, I do make a motion to approve the variance um, in this way, that uh, the north side of the length of the truck and trailer parking area will have no fence and no landscaping. The uh, rest of the boundary of the areas will have an eight-foot opaque fence, and there'll be no requirements for landscaping inside of that fence. Just to clarify, maybe um, having the fence around the truck and trailer parking and the material storage, but not along the, the gravel road access. Is right, and I don't see any need for fencing between those two areas. Yeah, either. no, I just want to confirm that. Right. Okay. Yeah. Just the perimeter, which would be the northeast corner, the east side, the south side, and uh, the southwest side of the material storage area. Okay. And the rest of that perimeter. And it's going to be the eight foot opaque fence? What's that? The eight foot opaque fence? Yes, eight foot opaque fence, uh, all the way around with the exception of the north side of the truck and trailer parking area. Not on the north side? This is the side where the north side of the property, what, what, what we were suggesting is just the access would not be fenced, but the north side of the property, the didn't north. you have other property owners on that side? And I think, are you trying to secure that side as well? Aren't you? Just gonna... the way he described it is what I was asking. So you want to leave one side completely open? Pretty much, but I probably will step the fence back and fence some because if I leave it all open, I'm leaving what I might store there unprotected. But but I don't know exactly how that will lay out yet. Because once you've passed the area where where the truck and trailer parking area starts, then you still have property owners to the north of that, correct? Yeah, that access road goes all the way to the northeast corner of my property. Yes, so wouldn't you fence in that area as well? But then I would be blocking their access. But like I can't go can from the northeast it. to the southeast, then from the southeast to the northwest, then from the You can pull it in to... to Ma'am? You can pull it in to be able to secure the whole area, correct? Yeah, I just don't know how that's going to work out yet with what I need to, to, to do. Um, just the way he described it is what I was hoping for. Okay, so so no fencing on the north yes, side of the property. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Right. Is, uh, is the motion you? understood? Hmm? Motion understood by everyone? Yes, I, we got some people want to also comment. So uh, next, Mr. Gedry. Okay. Mr. Ballantyne? I, I just is um, asking that that gentleman sitting in the back there is opposed to this. Do you have, are you involved with this at all? No, I, I have lost company. We have another case. We have another case. Okay, we have a motion. Do we get, I don't know if we had a second on. I'll second. We have a motion and a second. Do we have any discussion on the motion? Hearing none, Mr. Secretary. Mr. Secretary, will you call it? Uh, would everyone please vote with the lights, please? Motion passed. Motion passes.
Sorry. It motion passed. Okay, thank you. May I be excused or do I need to stay? Uh, you, you, it's up to you. So you All can right. stay if you like or you can be excused. I'm going. We like the company, though. <laughs> Our next case is BOA case number 2019-1400 BOA. Request by applicant in an A2 suburban zoning district to remove trees along the side property line to allow for the placement of a fence and to remove all pine trees within the required set yard 50-foot no-cut buffer and request to remove all pine trees and underbrush within the requ required front 25-foot no-cut buffer. The property is located at 65514 Loretta Drive, Mandeville, Louisiana. The applicant is Scott Reynolds. The applicant is requesting to remove trees along the side property lines. Next, all pine trees within the required side yard 50-foot no-cut buffers and all pine trees and underbrush within the required front 25-foot no-cut buffer. Staff comments, please. Well, this is in front of you because uh, the property is directly abutting I-12, which is a major arterial or a major road. And here the owner is requesting to remove the trees along the side property line to allow for the construction of a privacy fence. Um, you know, the gentleman who is here is trying to build a single family residence on a property, trying to remove the pine trees and also um, the underbrush and the pine trees as well as along Loretta Drive. And staff does not have any objection to the request because he's also trying to maintain most of the hardwoods and uh, also the 50-foot no-cut buffer along I-12. I see the applicants, but will you please state your name and address for the records, please? Uh, yes, I'm uh, Scott uh, Reynolds' uh, father, Richard Reynolds. I live at uh, 12148 Highway 1077 up in Folsom. Mr. Reynolds, do you have anything further to add? Well, uh, I ju uh, just want to state that it's a, he wants to build a house there and he wants to, since it backs up to uh, I-12, he wants to leave all that tr buffer in there, but he wants to be able to put the fence on the sides and get in and clear, up, clear it out and get the building. That's about it. Mr. Ballantyne. What's he got against pine trees? Uh, well, there, there's a bunch of them about that big around, and, 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 it, and it's completely full of Uh, That's what he's requesting. He just yeah. wants to clear the trees, the trees yeah. along the property line, right? right. And, and, and then and, and the pine trees. Yeah. The other way, the other trees are going to stay. Yes. Yeah, pretty much it. It's uh, just raw land out there right now. No neighbors. The uh, access route on the uh, north, on the east side is uh, is there. It's cleared. That's where one of his I mean, it isn't exactly on his property line, but there's, there is a clearing from Loretta to uh, Interstate already. Would, I still have the floor. You still have the floor. My other comment, had, you know, I would think you... Why don't you put your mic on, Tom? Hit your mic button, please. Thank you. Hmm. Um, it, it, I would prefer to keep the buffer on I-12. Oh, yeah, he wants the buffer on I-12. It's just the, 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 the two sides and the front that he wants. The, the property line from uh, Loretta to I-12 is where he wants to put the fence. Are you done, Tom? I'm done. Brian? Now, I see that there's presently, a, well, first of all, is this all, this is all residentially zoned yes. property? Okay. Yeah, yes, it Residence is. Residents on lot 7, 13, and 14. And the property in question is bounded by 10 and 12. Um, mm -hmm. it has, it, it's, has the owner of uh, lot 11 
contacted or been in contact or have any idea about any plans for lots 10 and 12? Uh, no, I, spoke, I don't believe so. I spoke to, you know, most of the property owners on that street called, and I explained them what he was requesting, and they didn't have no objection. Obviously, no one is here, but okay. I verbally spoke to many of okay, the property Okay, so the owners. adjoining property owners are aware of the request. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's all. Thank you. Mr. Yeah, he took care of this. I'm just filling in for him. He works offshore and couldn't couldn't come in today. That's not a problem. Mr. Gidger? So just to be clear, the buffer along I-12 is going to stay as is? The buffer along I-12 is going to stay. On each side of the property line, he just wants to remove trees to be able to put a fence. But the buffer will stay. He's going to remove most of the pine trees and then along the front be able to underbrush and remove some of the pine trees and obviously, you know, the area for the driveway. Right. But most, the, the hardwoods are going to stay. It's okay. going to remain a, a wooded property. Yeah. Okay. I'm good. Uh, motion to approve. So we got a motion to approve. Do we have a second? Second. We have a motion and a second to approve. Do we have any discussion? Hearing none, would everyone please vote with the lights? Motion pass. All right. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. All right. He'll get the permit when he gets back in off from offshore. Uh -huh. Yes. Sir. All right. Shouldn't have a problem. Yes. All right. Sir. Thank you much. You, you're welcome. Old business. No. Any old business time? I, did, I, I know that's your old business. Thank you, Tom. Do we have any new business? Any cases for next month? Five or six. We have a long month. Yeah, oh, no. May will be a busy okay. month. Busy. Busy. Get ready, cause it's gonna be some right. interesting cases. Oh, there'll be lawyers here, in other words. Uh, we'll <laughs> have the audience. You know, we'll have our um, lead uh, drainage engineer here and our landscape architect here to explain at least two major cases. Okay. Okay. Good. Sounds like fun. Okay. Uh, all in favor of adjournment? Aye. Aye. All right. And I will call Greg and keep everybody.